Hi guys, today we're gonna react to Let It Beat by Gachark Spin. This is a buy me a coffee request from Home Gnome. Thank you, Home Gnome, for yet another Gacharic Spin request. Thank you, Home Gnome. We appreciate the support. since we've reacted to a guitar spin music video uh they look cool as f walking down that street they desaturated the the people in the street made them all uh, like like uh, monochromatic mm -hmm. and they all look uh, in color we got hannah back on uh, guitar well maybe not back was we used to seeing hannah both on guitar and on drums and yuri's on drums koga with her bass her guitar spin staple uh, bass sound uh, walking down that street with the bass you can you can't miss miss her and angie is amazing as always she champions uh, as a lead vocalist and really does encapsulate that guitar spin essence really really love it the sound is the the guitar spin that we know and, and love i love the fact that uh when she shoots from this room it's like a lateral mm -hmm. uh, smartphone screen it has to do much with the subject matter i think just a beautiful music video uh it's very simply put together just guitar spin being guitar spin yeah yeah I'm, uh, I'm the same loving it i do think they look cool as frig when they're walking across the street with their instruments and Ori oriana was walking with with yeah, the keyboards, it you know, so I was serious. Like, it made, yeah. just made me yeah. smile. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just like that was kind of funny. Um, yeah. But uh, but there's something about the 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 chorus, you know, it starts right into the chorus. That that sort of uh, uh, let it beat, let it beat. It's I think the coolest sounding chorus uh, that I've heard from them since Mindset. Wow, that's uh, that's saying something. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just the chorus, just, just got me. It's like they started a song from the from the middle, and they started like I like to say, guns are blazing right from the get go, mm -hmm. attacking the senses. And I love the fact that saying that that they started it strong. It starts ac actually in 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 complete silence, so they bring you from zero to a hundred in a split second as they as they enter yeah. from the chorus. Beautiful. <laughs>
mind blown. Love it. In the middle, we reacted how it, this is Gacharik's been doing their thing. They amplified. They amplified the song as it went along. And that's, I, I, I keep saying, it says something. They start strong and they end it stronger. And I love how mm -hmm. each and every one of them, they never lose their personas. I, I enjoy connecting it to the subject matter because the subject matter is kind of grim and, and has a lot of existential uh, ponderings in it. I love seeing Tomozo. Doesn't matter how what they're what they're singing about, Tomozo is still Tomozo. She's still the princess of Planet Nicorin. She's still smiling. She's coming in to, to bring in the good vibes. The same thing is true for all of them. Just a beautiful display of how like they're being recruited as like the, the, the superheroes of the moment to inject their vibe into that desaturated world that they're singing about. Um, whilst being, you know, I'm connecting it back to the scene where Angie's laying on the road while it's being equally affected by the grim things that they're describing uh, that have to do with uh, the subject matter that has to do with questions of why are we here, why are we born, where are we going, and all that. Uh, things that, that keep occupying the mind. I just love this song. Homnom stated in, in the notes uh, with the request that this is a very recent song. It's like they get better with time, you know what I mean? Like they, they look fantastic, they sound great. It's like the sound is is like messy, but polished, you know? It's like a, a, a perfect mess. And I love it every time. And, and the more it's like that, the more I like it. Because it's just, a, they're one of the, the sort of the most um, energetic bands out there and one of the coolest as well, I think. Just loved it. I loved seeing Yuri go uh, a bit nuts here, which was really cool. And you know, as always, they all do. Um, and they all do their thing. And in, in this one, I think everybody got to do their thing because again, there's just so much into that chorus, so much energy. We've said so much about Angie already, about you know her, her charisma and the way she's just taken over the band as, as the lead. And she's just magnificent. And she's getting better, I think, as well, you know, with every sort of passing song that, that, that we see. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. And production-wise, they shot it in a, in a busy intersection in Tokyo. Uh, so That's what it looks they, like, yeah. Yeah, with both options, one being if they closed the street for the music video and the people walking by were being uh, instructed to surround the band as they, uh, as they play, if that's the option, then that's no mean feat. And if that's the, that's not the way they did it, they just came and 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 hijacked, uh, uh, so to speak, the intersection for their performance. Both options are it's no mean feat. It's a difficult yeah. music video to to put together. Being that you know, uh, having a a band in the middle of the street, in the middle of a busy day, we're seeing just people. We didn't see vehicles. So very very yeah. impressive achievement. It's uh, uh, equally impressive. I agree. And and there was something about it that made me think that this was like a guerrilla style the way they shot it. I think it might be because they had the the eyes yeah. censored or, or 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 blocked off for, for a few of the people there so these are people yeah. that either they couldn't get to sign a release it may have been just sort of a combination of sort of the shooting method let's call it but yeah. the clip looks fantastic and what you called you know an existential uh, um, type thing it's it's like a subject matter that they've covered uh, uh, quite a few times before and I think it's something that they're very concerned with and that's identity it came up in a few other ones that we've discussed and it definitely exists in this one i think the title itself has to do with uh I, i'd like to think it i don't know if it's right it has to do with, with, with allowing life to happen without occupying your mind with what does it all mean or or, or who should i be you're supposed mm. to find who you are you're not supposed to invent yourself you're supposed to 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 let life happen let it beat let life happen and not worry about what what you have no effect on so you don't have to fight with yourself to be a certain way you just need to learn who you are and embrace that that sense of self that you are that's what i think the title refers to the, the line that caught my eye why were you born and what are you living for even though you were born in this body alone were you created and named to, to make it easier, to find meaning in life. Where have you gone? The song continues. And then there's a part where, where they say, can't God answer? I don't need all that rambling about people are just allowed to live here. So let me hear it in your words. So basically they're asking themselves, right? and, and the song is asking, do you know who you are? And did, did you ever think that, that who you are will be a, a giant question mark? You would not be able to describe who you are. You can't describe yourself without describing your name or your profession or 
or the things you love to do. So who are you? So they said, can't God answer? Can't your maker answer that? So that, that it presents questions. They don't have answers. Uh, neither of us have answers, but it presents the questions that, that we all, that maybe people sometimes forget to answer. They just live their lives, just like the people in the city live their lives. And I think the question sort of has even more depth than that as far as um, were you created at the time you were named and then whatever the personality and whatever else was expected of you, is that what makes you who you are? Mm -hmm. Or were you someone before you were even born or as you were born, is it a blank slate? Can you just carve your own path, you know, and, and, and create your own future? That kind of thing, you know. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting to think about. You know, because, uh, you know, the whole nature nurture thing comes into it. And um, and it's a little bit like they're saying, just let it all go. Don't worry about this stuff. Just do what you your true self allows you to do and and, you know, what you instinctually want to do and, and where your spirit takes you. I think it's that kind of, you know, it has that kind of spirit to it. Yeah, that's what I got from it. Not just from the lyrics, but from the vibe as well. Yeah, let it beat. What is our, what is our true form? These mm -hmm. hands, we have two of them, not to cause pain, but rather to be embraced. You know, very cool. It's, so, yeah. it's like, uh, it's basically saying, you know, that there's, uh, we're not here just to, to inflict something on other people. Yeah. We're also here to accept love. You know, it says to be, to be embraced, not even to embrace. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is interesting. And then it says, um, let it beat. What is our true form? Um, this life, we're not living just so we can die. Are we mm. living just to be alive? One, two, three, let it beat. Yeah. So don't just live and wait to die. Actually yeah. make something out of this life. Enjoy it. Um, you know, experience. Basically, yeah, yeah. Get get everything that you can out of life. Yeah, I love that part with the hands. It's like they're saying, be who you are. Take the time to find yourself but they're giving you guidelines. As long as you don't infringe on other people's right to live, as long as, as, long as you don't hurt anybody else with these hands, you can use these hands with, to do bad things and, and also to, to do good things. Do good things with, the, with these hands. Even in that part, I like the fact that it has something to do with accepting love. Not, it's not just about like giving. There was a line towards the end that says, what happens to a world that has forgotten how to live? We're all human, but we're not the same. So again, don't try to be like everybody else. Don't try to yeah. be what they tell you to be be who you who you are just being here is enough to be loved so yeah. again it's about accepting love it's yeah. about letting other people in and not just kind of keeping yourself locked away in some way as well yeah. because we know that we are gonna die one day and that final line is amazing it's like hey you and i are here and that's all that matters so live in the moment that's yeah, yeah. that's pretty much what uh, what it talks about I and agree. yeah love it and and it's it it perfectly aligns with the sort of vibe and attitude that Guitar Spin give out, which yes, is indeed. always awesome. The name, Let It Beat. So it talks about, like, it sounds like it's about a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, so again, it's let your heart uh, um, love and accept love. Mm -hmm. And that's what ha true happiness is about, you know. As long as you're open to it, you know, you, you, you will be happier if you... Yeah. You live your true self kind of thing. Yeah. So very cool, very cool. It's like the perfect synergy amongst people. If they allow themselves to be loved, it can all work together without severe conflicts. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that so would be definitely the case. A, yeah. Definitely a positive, uh, uh, you know, kind of outlook. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Love it. So thanks again, Home No. Uh, an another awesome Gacharic Spin request, supplying us with a vitamin GS for the day. Yeah. Sounds like an ad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks again. We appreciate the support. Thank you, Home Gnome. We enjoyed reacting to this song tremendously. Keep them coming. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. Thanks again, guys. We appreciate all the support. We'll be back in a couple of days with a new episode, and we hope to see you all then. Thanks again. Bye for now. Bye, guys.